Give any element a spray-painted look with the use of the spatter filter. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Photoshop except where noted. In the Layers panel, click on the Frame Layer to activate it. The first thing we're going to do is create the Paint Layer. So to do that, click on the Foreground Color Chip to open the Color Picker. And on the document, click inside one of the colored stars to sample any one of the colors. I'm going to sample the orange color. Once you've done that, you can click OK to close the color picker. Then in the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. Press Alt, Backspace in Windows or Option Delete on a Mac to fill the layer with the foreground color. Next, get the Rectangular Marquee Tool. And in the Tool Options, click on the New Selection icon, set the Feather to 0, and set the Aspect to Normal. For Photoshop, set the Style to Normal. Then on the document, click and drag out a selection that approximately covers the top half of the document, making sure to go all the way from the left edge to the right edge. Note, if you can't see any gray space around the entire boundary of the page, press Ctrl minus in Windows or Command minus on a Mac until you can. Now press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. Press Ctrl backspace in Windows or Command delete on a Mac to fill the selection with the background color of white. Then press Ctrl D in Windows or Command D on a Mac to deselect. Now that we've created the paint layer, we can add the spray paint effect. In the menu bar, choose Filter, Filter Gallery. If Filter Gallery is listed twice in the Filter menu, make sure you choose the bottom one. In the dialog box from the Brush Stroke Filters, choose the Spatter Filter. If you do not see the Filters folder, click on the Show Filters icon. Then set the spray radius to 25 and set the smoothness to 4. Then click OK. In the menu bar, choose Layer, Create Clipping Mask to clip this paint layer to the frame layer below it. Then in the Layers panel, change the blend mode of this layer to Multiply. Now get the Move tool. And on the document, while holding down the Shift key, click and drag the paint layer up or down until the spray painted line is showing along the bottom portion of the frame. So about there. At this point, feel free to save the document as a layered PSD file with a unique name. Finish this page however you wish. Here's a few visual examples of ways you can vary the paint spatter effect. You could use the paint as is, or you could flip it or rotate it on an angle. You can apply it to more than frames, as in this example I used a journal card, a label, and a circle tag in addition to a frame. Here's what my finished page looks like after I created three frames using colors that coordinate with my layout. I love how it dresses the Polaroid frames up a bit. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Jennifer Juris from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.